Seven-year-old Oliver Patterson is quite the swimmer these days, comfortable and having fun in the water. His mother, Tara Patterson, recalls that wasn't always the case. It was a challenge. You know, we started a few years back and tried so many avenues to just be comfortable swimming, be comfortable in the pool, and we were unsuccessful about three or four times. Then the family discovered the Y and something just clicked. Until we came here, until we came to the Y, we weren't even close to achieving our goal. We, we weren't even comfortable enough getting in the water, getting our head wet. Then we come here, we found the right teacher, and she took time with him, and now here we are, and he can swim. That right teacher is why swim instructor Charlotte Hayes. She remembers the very beginning of this special relationship. When I first met Oliver, I asked him first off, do you want to learn how to swim? And he said yes. But I could tell that he was very, very afraid. So the first eight weeks was getting used to the water. But his parents did the right thing. They signed him up for more lessons. Working with young beginners takes a special skill and patience, but there's one critical component when teaching children. First of all, it has to be fun, and they have to enjoy it with children. Then I let them kind of control their speed. They control their capability. And once they have that, they have the confidence, and then I can just take it from there. Oliver has certainly taken it from there, soaking up knowledge that has paid off in a big way with his swimming. Freestyle, breaststroke, backstroke, and monkey tree rocket ship. And do you have fun while you're doing it? Yes. Charlotte lives by the age-old saying that remains true to this day. Just because your child doesn't succeed in the first set, sign them up for a second set, sign them up for a third set. And before long, they will gain all of that confidence and they'll know how to swim all of the strokes. Tara knows the Y has made a difference for Oliver and does the same for everyone else who comes to the pool. When I'm here, I have the joy of sitting here and watching several others, other swim classes, other private lessons, other, you know, the swim team going on. And I can see them all doing really well, doing really good. And even that, that aspect helped Oliver as well. With that help, Oliver is well on his way to becoming a proficient swimmer and is now ready to give his mom a big, wet hug. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.